You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful de Martinvilles. Uh, no, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, where the Ministry sent me, that they have concerns. This dawning epoch, this age of reason, an empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Hello? Precious eagle cactus fruit, help us. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. I held your hand and watched the blood pool between your legs. You lived long enough to see Edwin, but not Enoch. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. Hands are bleeding, raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. How can I hold my children with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? I am off to market. I will cry all the way home. I will have none. I will have none at all. Mandus, do you know me? Who are you? Where are my children? Trapped, Mandus. Far below us. The machine is fouled. It is breached. It is flooded. The bulkheads are down. The children are engaged. If you help me, I can help you release them. Restore the power, Mandus. Drain the flooding and restart the great engines. How? Ah. Where should I go? Hello? Hello? I must say, my dear man, you, you look awful. Yes, I... I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled. Yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is a wonder for one man alone. It will all be made clear, Professor. But first, a drink. Extraordinary. Quite extraordinary. And you built it all. Good God, man. You have been busy. It is wonderful how tragedy focuses the mind. What else was I to do? Fall into grief, pine and fade in my hopelessness? Why not then simply die in that jungle amongst those dead temples? Hold still, for God's sake, hold still, child. Don't let it get into your eyes. I'm going to rinse it out now. There. It will be fine. You just need to lie down. Enoch, look to your brother. How many times have I told you not to play in the cellar? The shaking ground you feel is our attempts to clear the floodwaters. Treachery, Mandus. We were undone. Your children are trapped by this act. You must find them before it is too late. What do you need me to do? How can I find them? Always deeper, Mandus. Through the piston room and into the tunnels. Then find the bilge and flush the rotten water. I will help you where I can. But you must be swift, my little friend. Bandaged feet and eyes. Small bones in the orchard. I have carried this world on my back with its legs about me. Damn this wretched soul. I am given birth to nothing but machinery. I have such visions to share with thee if my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes. Make me clean, Mandus, that my thoughts and words can unfouled be. I have such visions to share with thee if my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes. Make me clean, Mandus, that my thoughts and words can unfouled be. Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Your faith shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back offal at mankind. I don't like this one. It's another one with the knives. Look at 
Listen, Papa. Hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government, they make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. Hear me, Mandus. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. The lift has been sabotaged. You will have to find another way to the tunnels. Take care in this place, Mandus. It is the crucible of the evil that stalks these corridors. Over there, place it in the corner. What? You think I speak Prussian? Do I look like an inbred hog, sir? Who gives a damn what it contains? Just set it down carefully and leave me be! It fell onto his hands and they eroded in front of me. To stumps. To stumps. Next time we will use an equal mix of infusion vitae and orgone disperser. No, no, just take him out. You can dump him in the river for all I care. But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Mandus, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Dear God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age! Yes, yes. Now enter the bilge. Flush away this rotten world and open the doorway to my heart. Master Mandus, drain the waters, open the way to the bilge pumps. We are waiting for you. Ahead, the trickle to still waters. I drag myself deeper into the temple, downward ever, towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Mandus. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I, and all of us, and we make the world unclean. And you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. <laughs> Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. I live. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and still the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children! My time is come! More pig! More pig! And who came 
then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. For your children, Mandus, to spare them the world you have created for us all. Quickly, quickly, the air is thin. Their little faces turn blue, Mandus. They suffocate, they suffocate. Now, Mandus, set them free. Set them all free. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. Oh dear God. Dear Christ, what is this place? Boys. Boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition? Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Papa. Papa! Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! And, emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Mandus? You know the answer well enough. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! This is your doing, Mandus. This is what you dreamt into being. I will stop you. I will save them. You are too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my piggies! Kill them all! Oh, no. Oh, God, no. What have I done? Mandus, I know you are out here. I own this city. I am this city. No! This is not what I meant. This is not what I meant at all. Redeem yourselves. Redemption is at hand. Enter the cleansing and set your souls free. For you are born into filth and will die as pigs. Only through my redemption can you ascend to the skies and claim the heavens as your kingdom. Fall on your knees. Ashes, ashes, bones and ashes. For the pile will reach critical, and we can have such a burning that this city will shine as a beacon of redemption for the world! Do you hear me, Mandus? This is what you planned! This world is a machine, a machine for pigs, Fit only for the slaughtering of pigs. Whores, beggars, orphans, filthy degenerates, pigs all. 
but I will purify the streets, cleanse this city, set the great industry free. I will clean the world, make it pure. Beast, creature, where are my children? Where are my children? I can meet him, your great engineer. How marvellous. I must say, Mr. Manders, my excitement is almost unseemly. Yes, I can see that. Step this way, Professor. I will be right behind you. Manders? Manders, where the devil are you? I can't see a damn thing. Manders! We are the pig, Professor. We are all the pig. But will they be free? Yes, my friend. Drained and bled and freed from the prison of the flesh. Free to ascend as smoke to the stars. And the good? The worthy? How will we save them? Show me these worthy, Mandus. Show me these good. I do not see them. Oh, men. How have I wronged you? Your filth is your humanity. To scrub you clean is to lose the very act of life itself. Silence, Mandus, you imbecile, you weakling, you cretin. A revolution of simpletons. These retarded harbingers offer and spew them. Yes, you belong amongst them, and you can die amongst them. I know you, machine. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too late, Manders. My great works are almost begun. I am here again, at the foot of those stairs, towards the red light of the nursery, sunset in the window like a bleeding sky, the horizon a slit throat, the seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the jaguar-faced man, I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. I climb in stillness now. Blue water runs in my veins, now I am clean. I carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home. Hear me, Mandus. My gears are adjust. My steam is built. Soon I will spill that blue water and split the egg, the atom, my soul, and there will be a very great burning that we might make the world clean. Be proud, for this is your doing. Until you steeped me in the blood of your own, I was nothing but rotten architecture. You have made me, and I will make the world anew. But why did you take my children? I, Mandus, of all the blood we have spilled together, the first drops fell from your hands alone. Then I am damned for a filicide, and everything is lost. Oh, God help me. I am lost in the dry paper soul of the world. Mandus! Put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this, a far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blade, bullet, and gas. I have you now, creature. I will destroy you. Stop him! Stop him! Kill him! It is over. It is time to end this madness. Only to save you. Only to spare you. I would have given my soul to spare you this world and its loam. Oh, my children. My children. What have I done? What have I become? I will put it right, my darlings. All of my wrongs will be righted.
all of my sins washed clean. I love you, my darlings, and I am sorry. I am sorry for all I have done. I simply loved you all too much for this world. I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man-pigs singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced for ever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out, and in that moment the new century was born. Mandus, listen to your heart. You know you are with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. Mandus, please, I am no more evil than you. We sought the same thing, to save humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel, on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the horror to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. I have stood knee-deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent. The innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all and they will bury their stouts into your ribs and they will eat your hearts. I... I'm begging you. You made me. You are my creator. My father. You cannot destroy me. Yes. Yes, Mandus. I knew you understood. Just a few seconds more and the egg will hatch. I am created. My lairs peel and the air begins to vibrate around me. Soon we will be aflame. It is done. Thank you, Mandus. Let there be light. Please, Mandus, no. For your children. Smash it, Papa. Smash it. Daddy. Daddy, please don't kill me. I have seen two brothers fall. 
I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent. The innocent Manders trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Manders. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their snaps into your ribs. And they will eat your I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born.